Welcome to Stone Watch. Today we're talking about Boz Lerman's Elvis. And if you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and click on that bell so you can notify for future videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Elvis is in the theater and after going to watch it opening weekend, I gotta say this movie was actually pretty damn good. Tom Hanks was brilliant as usual. I mean, I don't know much about Colonel Parker, but at the end of this movie, I wanted to clock him. I mean, the way he treated Elvis, it just kind of really got to me. I mean, I heard stories about that, you, you know, growing up and everything, but I never didn't realize in how shicey this guy really was you know and just like the fact that elvis went with it some of it i think he was actually kind of duped but at the same time i think he went with it because he just thought that parker knew what he was talking about you know what i mean it's just like he was in on the con as much as he was being conned you know what i'm saying at least that's how i took it i watched the credits and it seemed like that awesome butler like sang like maybe three or four songs total through the whole entire movie the rest were all credited to Elvis himself so I have to assume that he just lip synced all those but there were only like three or four songs in the credit that actually listed Austin Butler as the performer of them songs so and I can't remember exactly which ones they were offhand but they were like the earlier ones you know what I'm saying so I mean I thought it was pretty good but the thing about it is like a couple times throughout the movie they had some kind of modern rap song I don't know who they are because I don't listen to it type of music but they had some like modern rap song like playing while there was the movie was going and it just kind of took me out of it because it's like you know you know the story takes place between the 50s up to the 70s right and this music wasn't around then so it just it took me out of the movie unless they're saying that these artists were inspired by elvis which i think is cool but at the same time it just did seem like it fit to what i was watching i mean that's just me just my personal opinion i'm not saying that they the songs were terrible i mean i don't remember what they were i just remember they were like modern like type rap songs and even though i think um eminem did a song for this movie but his song was like played at the end during the credits and it, listening to some of the lyrics in that one that like incorporated the the story of elvis in the lyrics which i thought was actually pretty damn cool i mean i'm not gonna go out and buy it because i'm not really much of a huge eminem fan but i mean it sounded pretty cool i mean at least he was at the end of the credits and not during the movie because it was just what it took me out even more and i was kind of amazed with how they finally pointed out why elvis did not go out of the states to play anywhere except for hawaii or whatever you know he stayed pretty much in north america because Colonel Parker was an illegal alien and he didn't have a passport, so he couldn't go to them countries and come back and not have any issues. So for that being said, Elvis couldn't go either, which I don't understand why he couldn't let him go on those because he would have made money off of that. I mean, I'll not, not be able to be there, but then he'd have to explain why he can't go. I mean, so I get, it just kind of mothballs after there, right? I mean, but I always wondered why that was, and I always thought it was. I always thought it was for a different reason. I always thought that Elvis didn't want to go over there because he didn't want to fly or something. Like that. But he had to fly his own plane, so that wasn't an issue. He flew around the whole country all the damn time, so it wasn't the flying part, right? My brother said something along the lines of maybe he didn't like flying over the ocean. He liked going to Hawaii. I mean, you know, so there goes that theory. Elvis is a 2022 biographical musical drama film directed by Baz Luhrmann, who co-wrote the screenplay with Sam Bromwell, Craig Pierce, and Jeremy Donner. From the story by Luhrmann and Donner. The film is dedicated to the memory of the Lads Company's founder, Alan Ladd Jr., who died March of 2022. It was announced in 2014 that Luhrmann would be directing an Elvis Presley biopic. Though the project was not officially announced until March of 2019, Butler was cast in the title role that following July, beating out several other actors, including Enzo Elgort, Miles Teller, and Harry Styles for the part. Filming began in Lerman's native Australia in January of 2020, but paused from March through September following the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. Filming wrapped over the year after it began in March of 2021. Elvis premiered at several festivals, namely in France at the 2022 Cannes Film Festival on May 25th of 2022, and was theatrically released by Warner Brother Pictures in Australia on June 23rd, 22, and in the United States on June 24th of 2022. The film received generally positive reviews from the critics, with Austin Butler's performance gathering critical acclaim. Starring in this movie, Austin Butler, Tom Hanks, Olivia Dijon, Helen Thompson, Richard Roxburgh, Kelvin Harris Jr., Xavier Samuel, David Winman, Cody Smith McPhee, and Luke Bricey, just to name a few. Going into week two, Elvis is sitting with a Rotten Tomatoes score of 78%, with 304 critics so far 
reporting in. Now over on the audience side, we're sitting with a score of 94% with 2,500 plus fans saying that they love this movie. And I have to agree, this movie was awesome. The story was, you know, it's the story of Elvis, and but the music was just totally phenomenal, of course. I thought it was pretty interesting to finally learn the background story to the 1968 comeback special, because I always thought that that was a planned thing. I mean, it was, like, I guess, on his part, but for the most part, I always thought that that was like something that, that they were planning and they were doing to begin with. I didn't realize he was supposed to be there to do Christmas songs and stuff like that, and just, he was doing something that he wanted to kind of rebel against Colonel Parker, right? So it's like, I didn't realize that that is what that was. I mean, I saw that concert. I thought it was pretty cool, but I didn't realize in the story behind it. You know what I mean? No, I always had an opening domestic box office of $31 million, which is not really a lot of money if you really stop and think about it. But however, we're going into week two. It's a holiday weekend. Maybe the drop-off won't be so bad. Maybe more people will go out and see this movie after hearing all the good word of mouth about it because it is a good movie. Now, with a budget of $85 million and his total box office going into week two is $64.7 million. Again, hopefully the drop-off won't be so bad. Hopefully it being a holiday weekend will generate some more ticket sales for this movie because this is a really good movie. I mean, it's beautifully shot. The music is fabulous except for those two rap songs. But other than that, the music is totally awesome in this movie. I mean, I did not realize that Elvis and B.B. King were like friends. Now that is something I wish happened. Some kind of a concert, some kind of collaboration between B.B. King and Elvis. Oh my God, man. I just can only imagine what that would sound like. And I wonder if there's like some recording out there of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I saw that in a movie. I'm going, really? He was friends with B.B. King? God, I would love to hear them, you know, on stage together or in a recording or something. Maybe it's just me. Let me just think about that in the comments down below. I gotta say that I thought Austin Butler did an awesome job in this movie. Now, he didn't look like Elvis like, all the time in this movie. I mean, there are certain spots at certain angles he really did look like Elvis and other times. You could definitely tell that it wasn't. And I liked how that they, at the very end, how they blended in the footage from Elvis's last concert into this movie. Because at a... At, I was having a really hard time distinguishing the two, and I really how, like, at the very end, that they just molded that footage from that concert into this movie because it was his last time he ever performed because he died shortly after that show. So I thought that was pretty cool how they did that. I thought that was pretty neat. Now, again, all in all, this is a good movie. It looks fabulous. It sounds awesome. I highly recommend, especially if you're an Elvis fan, go see this movie. You want to see this on the big screen at least once. You know what I'm saying? I mean, go see it for a matinee. Granted, it is a little bit longer movie than what it really needs to be, but it is an enjoyable experience. Trust me. So, have you seen the movie Elvis? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you an Elvis fan? Let me know in the comments down below. What is your earliest Elvis memory? Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, again, this cast in this movie was awesome, and obviously there's not going to be a sequel, but, but this movie was an enjoyable experience in the theater. So, let me know what you think in the comments down below.